right, guys, it is Friday and we are ready to go. Um, it is the 25,000 calorie challenge and uh, we are ready to eat just a ton of food and have a kick-ass workout. Let's do this. Billy Gunn is gonna back out. Uh, he's not showing up. Heath Evans, probably sleeping in. Let's go. Two. One. All right, here we are, everybody. 24, less than 24 hours away from me consuming 25. You know what? I might just do 25,002 just to be Mike and Heath Evans, because Heath Evans talking. Mike, yeah, I hear it too. That's it. No, 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 we're gonna set a, I am gonna set a Guinness Book World Record and eat, I don't know, as much as I want to. Those two, they'll just clean up my plates for me. Yeah, but I don't think it's sick, so I was like, I wore this for Billy. You see what that says? It's Superstar? It says the battle is won before it is fought. Now, see, in my world, that means you prep hard, you set up a game plan, a strategy, and then come game day on Sunday, you just kick butt and take names. In his world, that's one that, day, by the in, way. In his world, that means the battle is won before it's fought, like it's planned out, staged out, it's fake, kind of like our fake natty over there so really there's really only one guy in here that's about to win handle business tomorrow yours truly one day he preps for yeah one day one season which lasts about two months to where i am like year round 300 days out of the week so Let's, i prep uh, probably triple what he does yeah, prep, i don't know do the math prep prep as in here come here i'm gonna put you in a headlock and then on the count of three, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hip toss you and make sure you act really good. And then two months. The funny thing is, Mo, he counts worse than Mike. On my teams, we went to the Super Bowl every year, so it was a five-month-long season. But you know, it is what it is. The one extra thing we do is we're going behind the back. Five sets, twelve reps. sit and try to shoulder press here. <clears throat> I'm gonna actually do and take the shoulders out of position and rotate it. So now we're more of a, a like almost a relaxed fighting position. Shoulders are popping forward and extending. There you go. Darby, come here. Look at this. Look how far the elbows are forward now. One more, one more. Everything's going out in front. So, a lot more front delt on this exercise. Nice, right? It's only two plates, and it's that much of a change. Come on.
what you call uh, can't coach stupid strength. Joker's down, I don't know. single lateral. It's five sets of 12 each arm. Weight wasn't crazy heavy, more slow and controlled. Remember what Mike preaches, every athlete, every body is different. So find your angle where you're sticking it in that mid delt. All right, you saw Mike going from behind. I went in front. So you do you, five sets of 12. And then you might not have this Nautilus military, but find your machine or even your dumbbells where you're pinching those elbows in, really focusing in on those front delts. So you can flare the elbows and it's gonna be a lot of mid. You'll get in a lot more muscle, but squeeze it. We'll really focus on that front delt. It does well with the numbers. Um, Get back behind me. Stay back behind me. Behind me. He's got the, he's got the front. Bobby. Is this the upside up? Yeah. Okay, because I was I was gonna ask you about that. Yep, go. Then out. 
open and impinge. Yeah. Why? Go. Shape the body. Shape the body as you do it now. There you go. See, that's what he's almost designing this body. I am right now sitting next to a legend, Billy Gunn, Hall of Fame wrestler, WWE, just inducted in the Hall of Fame. I am honored to have him here doing the Titan 25,000 calorie challenge. Uh, more than being a friend, he's a role model to me. I follow this guy, I understand what he's done in the industry, but what he's done in life over a consistency of 30 years of putting in the work. Second level, man. Right, not a chance he did 10. I know the Michael Hearn counting it was four and a quarter max. This is where Mike's flexibility doesn't get enough attention. Because I can't even barely get my jacked up shoulders under this sucker. Nope, Mike's a beast. I'm not. Hold on. For us to on those rotator cuffs. tried this, does not work, uh, doesn't work for Heath Evans either. So I'm going to stay with reverse grip. I'm going to have these guys do the same exercise with regular grip, but they're going to keep the elbows forward. So switch the grips, yeah, go. good, open, put the elbows underneath, and I'm going to scoot the chair forward. Okay. Jump up for a sec. <laughs> okay. That's a heavy bench. Awkward. How about video? Get the video. Get the video. Just grabbing. Grabbing. You're still Sorry, time to grab. You're still even. All right. Now, if you guys are confused, Darby, jump forward. Mona, jump forward. Jump, just crowd right there. Mona, give him, give him room. Darby, you guys see this? I'm going to tell you right now. Um, he's a good distance away, and these elbows are so far in. And then the secondary. Where's the bar? The bar is a little above the nose. So most people are going to say, hey, uh, range of motion. We did range of motion. This is a half rep. This is a power. Elbows go underneath. It's on a bumper. So it's going from a dead stop. One. Stop. Relax. Two. Go down. Relax. Three. Down. Four. And again, five. Last one, six, racket. So just so you guys understand 
we already did shoulder press, we already did a couple different presses. Now this is almost like a floor press for the chest, but now for the shoulders. So if you guys are confused on the range of motion, good job, Biggs. Good job. <laughs> I'm confused why my shoulder wouldn't hey. move that, actually. Mike, you want to get one set in? Okay, I'm gonna get, you get one set in. Heath Evans is going to get one set in. Nice little warm up. It's called Saturday. Oh, my. We don't do a lot on the Smith machine, but this isolated shoulder press, very, very different. Check out Mike's hands. It's actually a reverse grip. He is still keeping constant tension on this front delt, all right? Slow control, there's no herky-jerky power movement, all right? For me, my shoulders can't handle this, so you're gonna see same slow controlled movement, but a normal grip, and you'll see shoulders pinch forward the same. Let's go, Mike. Good, finish it, finish it, finish it, good. Watch this last rep. Push, 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 push. Push, push, push. Oh! <laughs> All right. Triceps? <laughs> no triceps. But uh, people talk about uh, pro athletes, and these guys are both. Uh, and, and again, I'll say this. Um, I went to WCW, WCW camp uh, in the day, and some of the best athletes I've ever seen. Um, because of the fact that when you see a guy that's 285, 290 doing back tucks, that's athletic. You know, that's a, that's a different level of athletics. Um, Keith Evans played 10 years in the NFL. People talk about explosion and training. And this is, you'll find the so-called experts, and this is NFL coaches uh, in the sense of uh, trainers will tell you this. And then, then they train the people very speed, very all power and explosive Here's the power. problem. Uh, a football play is an average of three, five seconds? Three to four. Okay, so there's not a lot of speed. It goes from a dead stop to 100 miles an hour. And so I try to incorporate a lot of this stuff. Quick. <laughs> and, and it's the same with wrestling. It goes from absolutely nothing to a flip. And it's the same thing here. And I want people to understand there's two sides of it. Do both. Train fast at times. But you got to stop and come down to a dead stop and explode through. And, and, and it's funny. The majority of trainers or experts forget this portion of a, of a dead stop into an explosion. Dead stop into an explosion, the 40 yard dash. It's from a dead stop. Yeah. Uh, every single football play that is played on the field is from a dead stop. So, and yeah, it's just one of those things that they miss. And I think you guys can express the importance of explosion and being able to have that muscle used to where a lot of bodybuilders from a dead stop into an explosion could pull something because they're so not used to that. Well, the truth is, I only trained explosive power, and he showed me how weak I was when it came to actually controlling stuff. <laughs> and now I'm working on both. Yeah. I hate your guts. Yeah, exactly. Let's go, let's go. Boom. Down. <clears throat> stop. <clears throat> go. Two. <clears throat> go. <It's> three. <clears throat> Four. <clears throat> Five. One more. Six. Down. Done. Goodness gracious. Good set. We're done. Now. Woo! Okay. 
So I know Mike talks about football players a lot, and he talks about wrestling. Wrestling happens very fast. If you miss a moment, it's gone. It's long gone. Just like in football, four, five second plays. But ours last a little longer, but they happen in spurts. So just like Mike was talking about earlier, you have to train in all aspects. Like we do this 300 days out of the year. Your top, your top guys on the main roster, 300 days out of the year. So you have to be in amazing shape. Some of the best athletes on the planet are professional wrestlers, believe it or not. But um, it's, it's, it's keeping yourself together because if you don't, if you're not on the road, you don't get paid. You sit at home, you don't get paid. So training different ways, what he talks about, putting yourself in uncomfortable positions or positions that you're weak at makes you stronger, which in turn makes everything inside of you last a lot longer. Longevity, ha! Huh. All right, a little recap. Exercise number three. We kind of saw some, some up, side, front, down, all right? Four sets of 10. This is one rep. And we flipped over to the reverse grip. Well, Mike did the reverse grip military from like a rack pause. I had to flip my hands around for some, uh, we'll call them shoulder impairments from the playing days. That was uh, only sets of six, all right? So again, you saw the rack and then you press, all right? Taking all the momentum out of it. Get a little front delts with some raises, superset it with some shrugs. Don't cheat your reps, or you cheat yourself. That's been said. Oh my goodness.
I wish I had a good explanation for why he's gripping it this way. He's really just trying to show off his grip strength. But as you can see, one group of muscles connects to the other, connects to the other. He's got a unique ability to constantly contract through this whole motion. Very, very difficult. Again, if you want to try this grip, make sure it's slow and controlled. Make sure you're not swinging it, but you're constantly putting it in that rear delt, all right? See the traps work a little bit with the focus. Is pinpoint accuracy. You still rolling, Momo? I flipped that thing around like Mike was doing with the grip. And there is actually something to it. As that forearm engages, it keeps some great tension on that rear delt, which obviously I need a lot of help on. But give it a try. Come on, They're amazing. Um, rope pulls, of course, we back to back, supersetted 20 sets of 20. Um, yeah, it finished me off. I don't know if you can tell by the little cap, the cap that's missing. Yeah, because it's full. <laughs> 